All right, gamers, welcome in to Retro Time. I am No Such Time, and today we're gonna wa we're gonna read an article that talks more about the Legend of Zelda film and how I how I've been feeling about it. Where how would you make how would you work with Link not talking in this movie? Now I brought scenarios up where I think it could work, but it has to be it can't be super long scenarios, but it still could work. Um, if you see him back of me. I've been playing Zelda games for like a while now. Um, I started out really becoming a fan on the Ocarina of Time. That was my start start game, and then my favorite game of all time is, you know, uh, Twilight Princess. It came out later. All of the games, if you have been paying attention, even if they're new, Link never Link doesn't really ever say a word. He just he talks, but he's not mute. All right, so I want to bring that to the surface. But in this article, Bloomberg talks about how they how they might have a problem with this in the movie themselves. So let's get into reading it and see what it says. All righty, so it's an article from Bloomberg, and it says Nintendo has a silent problem with Zelda film. So, you know, when I, when I saw that, and I saw a picture of Link. I was like, okay, I know where they're going with this article. But I wanted, I read, I schemed through this. I wanted to read it off to you guys just to give my take and my opinion on it later. And it's probably going to be I, that I agree with this article because this person obviously knows that these games, Link's been quiet in most of these games or like all of these games. So, all right. So, when Nintendo Co. Nintendo Company announced on Tuesday that it was developing a live-action Zelda movie. Fans rejoiced. They had ha they had been asking for this for years. In 2022, Zelda was voted the most desired game to movie ad adaptation in a survey by pop culture site Fandom Spot. But even as far back as 2008, gaming news giant IGN created a an elaborate hoax trailer that thrilled and ultimate disappoint ultimately disappointed fans. Now I remember that. Um I don't really know if I could watch that here on YouTube. Uh, but one of these days during a stream I'll pull it up for you guys. Nintendo's news was unexpected. Recent uh, game adaptation have been commercial success garnering box office profits and awards since the pandemic. This has included such series as HBO The Last of Us. So now I wanna say I wanna say that this this uh movie it, some people liked it, some were disappointed. Um I don't really know, but I haven't I don't really know what The Last of Us is. And and I just wanna go on to say that they they did something with they did you know, they brought Halo out too, and they did something with Halo that to gamers was just a no-no. So the people watching it are a vast majority of people who don't even play the games, and that's why, like, I think as gamers we do get mad at that, because these people genuinely do not know what the hell they're watching. They're watching something completely made up that's supposed to be a gaming movie and turn it into, like, something completely different. Now... My opinion on these is that like I wish I wish they would stop, but to stop these from being made is a very very difficult thing because you can't go and tell Hollywood hey don't make this like somebody in Hollywood or like the movie the TV show industry they always tend to like think these up and then they usually go along with them and sometimes uh, these ideas are just like horrid but people there's people literally like oh they're doing great. Yeah, they're doing great too, but to us gamers, we're kind of irritated and we don't enjoy it, to be honest. So, movie adaptations have included Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2, 5 awards, and 15 nominations between them. And of course, Nintendo's own Super Mario Bros. movie, which made $1.36 at the box office this year. Alright, and let me state this. The Super Mario Bros. movie was a lot easier to make for people because the main premise is Mario goes and fights Bowser 
and he defeats Bowser. So, and it, you know, it's a pretty easy premise to create a story like that. Um, <clears throat> Sonic the Hedgehog, same thing. There's no story that you have to follow with Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, with something like Legend of Zelda, you really, really have to be story oriented to have it be a really great success among game gamers. And I don't know if they could, I, and that's what worries me about this. Like, I don't actually know if they could pull it off, but, you know, maybe they'll take, maybe they'll take The Legend of Zelda and put it into some, putting it, put it into its own story in movie, because that's what pretty much Super Mario Bros. was, was a whole bunch of stories mixed into one. I have yet to see Sonic. Um, Sonic just didn't intrigue me enough to run, uh, to make me run out to the theater and see it. Um, the Super Mario Bros. movie looked really good, and I went out and saw it, and I liked it. So I just want to say that those two games, in general, you can get away with putting together a story however you want. These, here, the Zelda movie, you can't really do that too much unless you create your own story outside of Zelda, uh, being related to the Zelda lore. So, I just want to say that. On the heels of this success, it's no surprise that the video gaming company would want to take a, another flagship series to the silver screen. However, a Zelda adaptation comes with one major challenge that these other movies didn't. The prote its protagonist, the hero Link, doesn't speak. And its developers have been adamant over the years that this should remain so and yes yes so that, like we all agree like link needs to not talk when it comes to down to this movie so there are ways you can do this now i'll go over it in the end so si silent protagonists were common in the early days of video gaming video games when voice act characters were come Putulentially, uh, I guess, expansive over otherwise impossible to include. Though the technology has advanced drastically since Zelda's debut in 1980s, Nintendo has stayed this course with long-standing protagonist Link and Mario in 2009. A company representative explained to Kotaku, a gaming site that it's Nintendo's tradition for their protagonist not to speak. Alright, so there you see, there they even say it. Um, in 2010, Zelda producer Enuma affirmed that he would, he didn't want Link to speak. Just a year later, he repeated, The most important thing about Zelda series is that the player becomes Link. Giving Link a voice, he argued, would create a discount, disconnect and prevent a seamless self insertion in some way this allows the player to privately co-create link's character though enuma set, uh, seemed to walk this back in 2016 noting that he would need to think long and hard before giving link voiced lines <clears throat> every subsequently zelda release has featured a silent protagonist instead of speaking link just to just to let you you know, let's i can't and meme mimes the act all right so he does gestures which means he like moves and you can tell he's talking and he mimes the act all right his uh voicelessness stands out against the other or otherwise fully voiced cut scenes of breath of the wild and Tears of the Kingdom 2023. This has fans wondering how Nintendo will approach Link's character in the upcoming movie. How can they remain faithful to the series in the media in a medium where Link will not be a direct proxy for the player, but an autonomous character for the viewers? If the audience can't co-create Link. As the games, as the games intended, the films risk appealing to Zelda fan, full fan base. Yeah, that's that's one thing we all have to say. That's why we weren't sure if we wanted this film. Like after years of thinking about it and hearing some people's, some other people's takes, 
I agree. We've never seen Link talk, so it's just kind of hard to, like, let that go. So. Alright. Looking to other game-to-movie adaptations, the closest is Nintendo's own The Super Mario Bros. movie. A Mario As Mario, also a silent protagonist, though, he has a few Ita Italian accented catchphrases. It's me, Mario, Mamma Mia, and let's go. You might, I'll go back in voice. I'll go back in there. It's -a me, Mario, Mamma Mia, let's go. He otherwise doesn't voice, he otherwise doesn't speak. Despite this, Nintendo was able to transition to a fully voiced Mario, even if there was initial controversy over the casting Chris of Chris Pratt over unsurprisingly his non his non Italian background. But what worked in Mario movie may not work for the Zelda may not work for Zelda given how adamant the developers have been about Link's silent and Link silence and sorry, hiccup. Uh, player's role in co-creating the character. They want him to appeal to all players. A desire that ha that has that's been working into multiple parts of Link's design. In addition to his voicelessness, Link is, as a 2016 Time article states, androgynous by design. Though Link is canon uh canon canically male producer Anuma hoped androgyny would help either female or male players <coughs> excuse me be able to relate to link some have argued that this androgyny imbues an element of Queerness in the Zelda series. What? I guess they mean weird by this because when you say that, you get two different you get two different varieties of it. Um, element of weirdness. Okay, so be able to relate to Link. Some have argued that this in Dragni Im imbues an element of queerness in Link. The Zelda series. Alright. But capturing all these elements will be difficult. Casting poses one of one set of issues. The very act of casting one specific actor as Link will end some of the series co-creation. Uh, writing the script poses other others. Do the writer preserve Link's silence despite potential storytelling? obstacles if they don't will the movie strafe too far from its source like the voiced link of the 1980s and early 90s there were three non-canonical zelda cdi games and zelda cartoon and all four have been turned into memes the most ubiquitous being link's infamous well excuse me princess You know, I know nothing about that, and I know a lot about Zelda lore, but that's something like I don't, I don't really know about. I want to kind of figure out where that's where that came from. Despite these challenges, Nintendo could produce a, a success if the video game maker is thoughtful about and it opened up to it opened to fans' reactions. Sonic the Hedgehog is a blueprint for this. When fans push back on Sonic's design. They delayed the movie to address these concerns. It ended up being the highest grossing superhero film of the year, ending Marvel 10 year blockade. So Marvel took a big hit when it came down to it. So, okay. Man, I wish I could read this without it like getting in my way. Um, so we're almost done. I'll finish out reading it here. Would that have been... Uh, would that 
have happened without the delay. It's hard to say, but either way, it set the studio up for a nice nicely for Sonic 2, and surely Nintendo wouldn't aim wouldn't mind a second Zelda movie if fans flocked to the first. Alright, so um yeah, let's get back to the big screen. Alright, so that's it for me. Um I want to give us a couple opinions and takes on this. Alright, so um first line that word queerness in that article. Queerness also means weird. Because if you look up the word queer, it actually says the word weird. It doesn't mean anything homosexual or anything like that. That's just probably a better way to put it instead of weird, okay? So don't take that out of context, please, because if you do, you guys, like, don't get how irritating that is to be taking things out of context like that. All right, second. Um, we all, and, and along with that, actually, I want to go back and say something. Now, Mifa in these stories has been in love with Link, all right? And if you haven't noticed, Link is very fond of that. Link is very good with the ladies. He's been, he's around one of the Gruta. He's been around Zelda. He, you know, throughout time, he has had a lot of lady friends that grew very fond of him. So essentially, you have to look at it as like Link is the man and he's very good with women. Okay, let's just put it that way. Second, um, the talking in this film, um, I don't, I really don't want to see talking, but we'll see what Nintendo puts together for this. Um, it's, it's, it's a very hit or miss thing, um, when it comes down to it. Well, yeah, it's, it's not something to, that we all want to think about. Like, I think if Anuma and Miyamoto sat down and actually took forever to make this film or the script, there's something there that we haven't picked up on yet. And it, it's been, if he said it's been a long time in the making, we probably have something, he probably has something set that is going to work well with audiences in the theaters. All right. Now, as from a gaming standpoint, I'm tired of movies, I'm tired of movies being made. And I've, I've seen it myself where these movies get made, these films get made. Yes, they do good. But there's a small fraction of them also that get messed up. It, it wasn't un, until recently we've seen good movies come out of uh, video games. Um, now, I will say this. That, like, there are people looking at The Last of Us that, like, don't like the direction they went, went with some of it. Um, it's unfortunate because that happens sometimes where we get these films, shows coming out, and they just don't, they don't, do, they don't live up to the standards. Like I said... Master Chief from Halo, there was something in there that made me absolutely not want to watch it. It's still going on, of course, but Halo was that def defining factor of why I'm not a fan of like the movie, the video game film industry. Um, now Super Mario Bros. Uh, the movie did great. I liked that. I enjoyed that. But that was easier to put together than a Zelda film. And and last thing I want to say before I go out here is that. You know, what, like, how are you going to do it? How are you even going to do it? I mean, I have my way of, like, thinking that it could get done. And maybe they, maybe they thought the same thing. Um, because all I, all you have to do is you put Link inside of a dungeon. Or, like, let the, let the people around him do the talking. Put Link inside of a dungeon. Let him figure out all the puzzles. And... You know, let the score do the work, cause that's how that's how it works in these Zelda games. You can really put a good score together and let the score do the talking, and then have Link do the have Link do the dungeons, cause that that's what that's what that's why a lot of people, you know, besides the game itself, we also love the music behind it. I, I I'll admit I listen to the music of Legend of Zelda, but it's very uh, Legend of Zelda is a very there's a there's uh. You know, it's a very underground cultish kind of thing. It didn't grow to recently until Tears of the Kingdom just came out and all that. So, I just want to say that, you know, the people who've been Zelda fans forever are unsure about this and we don't know. And then you got the fan base of people that just came in that's like, okay, we want Link to talk. I don't really, I don't really know how I feel about that. And there's people that have been fans for a while that really... That really just, uh, you know, 
don't really have an opinion on how they feel about Link talking or not. Um, it's a shame because you get a mixed ba you get a mixed batch of people coming into a fan coming into the fan base that really really just you know want a hey, some of us we don't even want this film others do so and if we do get it I hope they do it justice that's all I gotta say put put a good cast give it justice and give us a good story that's all you have to do and also don't allow don't allow our protagonists to talk please. Um, but with that said, everybody, I'm out of here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back tomorrow with everything back to normal. Um, and if you did like this, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And also, um, if you did, if you did like what you saw here, hit that notification bell to get more from me. And I'll be seeing you later. Keep gaming, gamers.